Hey guys, welcome to another video at Sweevil's Garage. So today I have a short little video. My wife for my birthday, which is in a few days, bought me a MBRP can for my snowmobile that I wanted. So today we're gonna put it on and see the difference, but I'm not gonna drive it because it's in my driveway. So for me, it is a few hours after the Winterfest car show, which is the last video I put out. It's been like super cold lately, so I haven't, she gave it to me last week, but I haven't had time to put it on because it's been really, really cold. And uh, today it was 35 degrees. And uh, after the show, we brought stuff home and then we went out to eat. And uh, now I have about a half an hour before the sun goes down and I'm too excited. So we're gonna get this thing on quick. So I'm gonna start it and let you guys hear what it sounds like stock. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to put it on because it's super easy. And then I'm gonna start it again. I'll rev it up a little bit, but I don't want the track to spin on the trailer. So, and then my next video might be out driving it next weekend because we got a snowmobile before it all melts now. And uh, I'm caught up at the shop. So now I can actually enjoy some of my toys. It's starting to get nice out. Spring's probably coming. So I gotta go enjoy that thing before all the snow melts. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how to put it on. All right guys, here's the MBRP can. That is the part number if you're looking for one. 03 to 06, mine's an 06. I already opened it, but this is how they come. I put it back how it came. Super, super light. So even if it don't have any power, the weight is good. Pull that off. There's this. Looks super nice. What's up, baby? Sounds like Letty wants to help. But let's go over here. I haven't started this thing in weeks. See how reliable it is. It is fuel injection, so should start right up. I just jumped on here not thinking the trailer could do a wheelie, but it didn't. <laughs> Thank God. That would have been weird. Oh, that must be the wife's key. I always thought all the keys were the same, but they're not. All right, pull that, pull that. See how many pulls it takes. I'm worried about the trailer. jack under it so now it can't do a wheelie thank <laughs> god it didn't it earlier that would have sucked but yeah this is literally all you do to uh, get these apart there's like no bolts that i'm aware of I'm trying to do it one handed up two hands it'd be ideal but i'm pretty sure if i remember right it's all just springs so take the springs off and you're pretty much done so there's two, some of them are super hard. There's three. And then there's a couple down there. I'm gonna do off camera just cause they're gonna be super tricky. So you got one, two, three, four, five. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna take those two bottom ones out and then I'm gonna try to yank it out and then I'll show you how to install. There it is, got it off, it took like two seconds. Very simple, here's a new one. So it's gonna be super easy to put in. It's way lighter, I'm probably losing 15 pounds. But I think you gotta reuse this gasket. Just like that. Now let's throw her back in. It's kind of a bugger to pull it out of there. But it does come, I didn't have to take nothing apart. So slide that down in there. 
Looks like it's a little shorter. No, I, I did yank up on that, so I think I can push it back down. And uh, I'm gonna put the springs back on. You guys know how to put springs on, so I'm gonna get it back on and then I'll uh, show you guys, let you guys hear it because they're super loud with these cans and I like super loud. So I'm gonna get these springs on and we're gonna hear it. All right, got the springs back on, you got the two. This one goes here, but it, it will not reach, but it, it's sturdy. So that one you delete, I took it off. The bottom one you put on the same peg so it can't spin, it's tight. Factory, those go to each, they go to eat their separate ones, but I haven't started yet. The last spring I had to use a vice grip because it does get super tight because it pulls to one side, so I couldn't hold it. But here's the first startup, how loud it's gonna be. You ready? Scratch that. I was looking through the box and there is more stuff here. So I got to look in and I think this is the extension to make that last one go on. I haven't tried it yet, but I feel like it's common sense. So the 03 through 06 must not all be the exact same because there's a couple brackets in there. But open this back up. Still gonna be a stretch, but. I'm gonna see what I can do here. I I know what I know what happens. Let's go back over here. Look at our brackets. I think this goes on too. Yep, that's how it works. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this on and then I'll show you what it looks like. This is what happens when you don't watch any YouTube videos and you wing it. So let me get these on. I'll show you the final product. There it is. So you got the bracket, a little bracket, and then the spring. So that's pulling hard. So that's, I think that's how it works. I'm just going to watch a few videos to make sure you don't add a bracket to the bottom. But I feel like this is how it is. And uh, I think that's it. So now it's sturdy. Yeah, that's how it goes. So there is another bracket, but it could be for the older ones because I don't see another spring anywhere. So now we are complete. So, so thanks for watching. Here's my little birthday present from the wife and uh, super happy because I, like I said, my toys like stuff like this that you don't get pulled over by the cops and stuff. I love it super loud. So I like people knowing I'm coming down the road. And uh, if you ever rode a snowmobile with me, I'm floored everywhere I go the whole time. So this thing's going to be super loud. And once you get your helmet and stuff on, even if your stuff is loud, it's not stupid loud to your ear, but it is to everyone else. So I, I love that too. So sorry for everyone that's going to ride with me next weekend because I'm going to be the loudest one probably. But... Thanks for watching another short video. I'm, I'm videoing more because from what I'm finding out is when I first started, my videos would take weeks and weeks to build, like the pace car, the builds take forever. And uh, you guys want more content from what people have told me, local people mainly. So I'll video more of this little stuff that I do because it is a video and it is a how-to for some people that need to learn. So it's just kind of more of my daily stuff because normally I probably wouldn't have videoed that, but it is a video. Some people will learn. So super short video. Let me know what you think. I like them stupid loud. Obviously I save all my stock stuff. I'll put that in the shop somewhere. 
because if I sell it, maybe they want it quiet or I'll just throw it in with it. But thanks for watching another video. See you guys on the next one.